Oh, wow, look at this. He's been waiting a long time to find out what's in this box. I don't think I can air this. This is sacrilege right here. Jurassic Park. 1993 it says. Hmm. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Harley Davidson. Okay. Oh, what the heck. And this one is marked 10K gold. G.I. Joe is definitely hot. That is some hot stuff right there. What is that? It's got a spout right here. It's got a cork on top. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. We found this guy before, I think. And a Longer Burger basket. Get out. Look at that. Longer Burger. How funny. Hey, check it out. These locker nuts, guys. We found a little locker. Next box here. Got some creepy stuff in here. This right here, it's rubber, right? And it, I think that's a belt. I don't know. It's got some ties on this side here. I think that's a belt. I think you tie it around your waist. Maybe this guy like to dress up like the guys from Gore, that music band. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Crazy, creepy stuff. Oh my goodness, look at that. Uh oh, guys, you know what that means, right? I'm gonna have to try all this on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to try all this on. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, I can't even see it, it's so huge. Usually I'm worried about the manager walking by at the facility and seeing me doing stupid stuff. Here I have to worry about my neighbors actually seeing me, which is way worse. Okay. This guy, right here. He's been waiting a long time to find out what's in this box. <laughs> don't worry, buddy. We'll get to it right now. Okay, I don't think that's part of the costume. That's like a boot. Matrix. I think that's like a medical boot. Someone broke their foot or something. And this kind of stuff. It's uh, this for uh, fencing, right? To go around your lawn. Four panels. Man, I've been waiting forever for him to get through these boxes. I know. I've been waiting here the whole time too. Well, I know, I'm just saying. What, what are you saying exactly? Because it's not sounding like much of anything. Shut up. I'm keeping my eye on you. Well, I'm keeping one on you too. Lock of nuts. Oh, huh. Do you see that? This is just like in the commercials, right? I don't think I can air this. This is sacrilege right here. <laughs> I'm no Green Pack Bay Packer fan. Come on. But it is dated 1996. Maybe that's uh, collectible. Okay, it's just a little fleece blanket. But it's made to look like a, I don't know, Native American blanket or something. And I'll tell you right now, Jana does not like this kind of stuff. She does not like this. It does do a little dance though. Got a little fountain right here. <laughs> it's nice. Another mask. Oh my goodness. No, this is actually a full-on costume. Check this guy out. Oh, look at his hair. That's dope. This might be my favorite one yet. What's up? How's it going? What are you seeing you around here? What are you looking at? Some big old boots. Oh, Vibram, I think is what it is, right? We found boots from that company just recently. This is Matterhorn. These ones are called Matterhorn. And uh, made in the USA. I think these are military issue right here. Doesn't mean he was in the military, but it does mean that they, I think these are military issue. These aren't brand new like the last pair we found, but uh, I don't know. These might be worth a few bucks. I listed the other ones because they are a few bucks. There's a Memorex, too extreme. It's kind of dirty. Whoa. This is really weird. Uh, this is a yearbook from a junior high school. And this is the same junior high school that I went to. That is so bizarre. Is a fruit roll up? <laughs> I don't think so. I think you made something. Oh, it's supposed to look like blood dripping down. Almost like slime. It's like a latex. Blood dripping down. How cool is that? There's a Yu-Gi-Oh container right here. A tin. Nothing in it though. Bummer. Empty. 
Okay, next box. Let's see what we got. What is this? A oh, little barbecue set. Got some got some tongs and a big spatula or whatever. Okay. Kind of a nice vase. And on the bottom right here, it does say hand painted stangle. I don't know, maybe that's something. I'll put that aside. Look it up. I don't think it's anything, but we'll look it up. Alright, this nice little wood box. This is for incense, an incense holder. Put your incense in there. Oh, this is nice right here. This tradition find China ebony. These are pretty nice. I know we've had this pattern before. I think it was pretty decent. This piece I pulled out before and showed you. We found this. Mike and I found that recently in one of the lockers we bought. Match the teacup. There we got some plates. Same thing. All right, now he's got a handwritten paper here, and it says pieces of china left. And it lists the, what he's got, and it says got broke, and he lists the ones that got broke. It's all this pattern here. I think I'll just be donating that. Alright guys, next box. Look at that. We got some boxes. Okay. Ugly picture. But now this. Okay, I don't think you can see it. You can see part of it. It's a Santa Claus. Oh yeah. That's that's kind of neat. As far as Christmas decorations go. That one's got a very nice look to it. Santa 1. That's a nice piece right there. It's a lot of detail. A little coin right there. Good luck souvenir. Alright, next up we've got a box of helmets and hats, it looks like. Baseball stuff. And some decent hats. Got some stains on the bottom there. Cowboys. That one looks decent. NFL. Branded, right? Nike hat. San Francisco Giants. That one almost has a military look to it. New Era. Yellowstone National Park. LA Kings. Ooh, look at this one. There's a vintage painter's cap. Budweiser. That one's kind of neat. Hummer. You got a Humvee. Nice. Ooh, a little coin purse, leather coin purse. No, this is a this is eel skin, I think. Oh, the inside's wrecked, though. <laughs> Bucket of Blood Saloon. That's a flex fit. That one has been worn. It is very crusty. <laughs> a little South Park. These are embroidered. That's actually pretty nice. Comedy Central branded. That seems like a pretty nice hat right there. Top of the world. Jurassic Park. 1993 it says uh, unfortunately some of the threading here is coming off but that looks to be a vintage hat right here look at the back side oh it's a McDonald's it's got the M right there so I think this is a uh, maybe something the McDonald's employees wore, wore if they had a Jurassic Park promo that's more interesting than most of these other ones Bubba Gump Shrimp Company alright next box first Let's look at this box up top on top. When I saw this in the photos, I thought, oh, maybe a jewelry box. No, it's plastic. This looks to me like something from Halloween. Like, you put the Halloween candy in here, put on your doorstep or something. Hmm. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Well, what do we have? What do we have? Okay. A couple fans. Okay. These are cheap, 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 cheap. Harley Davidson. What's in here? Hmm. This way. Okay. Oh, what the heck? Is that some jewelry? And some rocks? I don't. That's some weird stuff in here. Let's look at that in a second. Oh, this is garbage. What's this? Chopstick box. Mm-hmm. That's what that is. Chopsticks. It's funny, we just found those recently too. A little leather something or other. Just a little leather pouch. Nope. Nothing in there. What's this? Just, everything smells a little smoky. The guy's definitely a cigarette 
smoker. Full keychain. Historic Mosby's Rangers.org. That'll go in our keychain lock. Oh, look at that. Little iPod. Yeah. iPod. It's got a little sticker back there. Residue. Model number A1051. I'll have to look that up. But that's a nice little iPod. We'll put that in the next electronic slot, probably. That's a good find. Mm -mm. Come on, find some cash. That'd be better. Nope. Mark, New York. Okay, a little leather coin purse. There's a little rock. Leave a note, Las Vegas. Looks like a little mailbox. A little ashtray. I don't know what that is. Some kind of metal piece. It looks like it broke off of something. Another rock. A belt buckle. This is not like great stuff. It's a little patch. We just did a, pa a lot of patches last week. We'll add this to the next one. Maybe that's something military or something. Maybe Boy Scouts. Another little keychain. Look at that. It's got like liquor inside. You know, like fluid. <laughs> you see that? That is pretty funny. This will be added to our next keychain lot. Uh, what's this? A oh, little travel clock. Another little travel clock. There's another piece of that metal there. That almost looks like a railroad spike. A railroad nail or something. Okay. This little bag of something right here. A little necklace. It almost looks like an arrowhead. There. And it's got like a little foreign coin here. One of those little Asian coins with the square cut out in the middle. It's a little dinosaur thing. Looks like it's a rubber stamp on the bottom. That is bizarre. And a little owl. A little resin owl. Looks like it's bought some kind of a gift store. It's random stuff, guys. Random stuff. Okay, let's see what we got here. Got some kind of a little rocks in here. Little crystals or something. That's a horn or antler or something. I'm not sure what they were going to carve it into. I don't know what this is. A little pendant. Some feathers. A little Native American looking piece. Now this piece right here is a little unexpected. That's actually kind of pretty. It's not gold or anything. It's nothing precious, but um, it is pretty. It's got those stones on it. Hmm. Not bad. Another piece right here. Kind of nice little crystal. The end of a chain. Chain is nothing special either. Not gold. Almost looks gold, but it is definitely not. But yeah, nice little, nice little pendant on there with crystal. This piece right here, also, I don't think it's anything expensive or anything, but kind of nice little chain in pendant. A couple of little tiny pieces of things that I found in there. There's some sort of a ring. What does that say, 33? Or is that hearts? Two hearts, I don't know. Um, doesn't look like anything precious, but I'll take a loop to it and the magnet and all that, just to make sure. couple more rings here again I don't think these are anything precious but still nice little rings all right this one is kind of interesting it's a little pendant I don't know it could be silver it's not marked though so it probably isn't but you see it's got the two roses right there on that side but then on this side inside those roses you got what appears to be maybe like saints or something I just think that's kind of an interesting piece. The detail on that makes me think, well, maybe it is silver. All right. Then this piece right here, Jenna took a closer look at this. And this one is marked 10K gold. <laughs> so how about that? Oh, that's a nice ring, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Good find, guys. I'm really surprised by it, actually. I'm really, really surprised. And that was in here, in the Halloween box. <laughs> Hilarious. Alright, let's see what else we got. Lucky Strike banner. Cigarette and advertising. Drumstick. This is Department 18. <laughs> From Walmart. It's $10 piece. It's supposed to be like a knockoff of Department 51, I think. What is that? It's got a spout right here. It's got a cork on top. 
The bottom says Heartstone USA. Okay, that's different. Definitely different. Alright. This is just a weird mix of stuff in this one. Made in China, it says on the bottom. So nothing too too exciting or special, but <laughs> still funny. It's just funny to find it in there. Another horse piece. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> and it says Italy style. Made in China. <laughs> it almost looks like frosted glass, but it is not. It is resin. Just cheap, 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 cheap. Got another piece here. Another department 15 or something. I don't know. China. Oh, look at this guy. Okay. He held something. I think it says Albertas on the bottom. Albertas. Look at that. I only use my gun when kindness fails. Metal sign. Okay, we got the next box right here. Let's go through that and see what we got. Right here, Proto Mac. Feels a little light. Oh, it's not that light. It's in there, Proto Max. I'll have to look that guy up and see if there's any value or if it's just a really cheap one. I don't know if that's complete. That's something a little different. Look at this Gypsy Tour 2004. Another VHS. Nightmare Before Christmas. Excellent movie. Good things await you. Oh, these eyeglass, reading glass samplers. Found that before. Ooh. That's made out of metal right here. It's cut out of metal. It's a little sharp around the edges. Someone probably used like a plasma cutter or something and cut that shape out. What is that? It looks like someone running with a butcher knife. Well, that's kind of neat. Look at that. G.I. Joe. 60 piece puzzle. That one's open. Unfortunately, 60 pieces is not a lot, but this does look vintage and G.I. Joe is definitely hot. That is some hot stuff right there. 1987 guys 1987 wow that's neat oh look at this Bl uh, death note black edition number four this is a uh, Japanese comic book but or a graphic novel or whatever you read it from the back forward this is a, a thing I've seen the movie on uh, Netflix death note pretty good these might have a little bit of value I'd say these might I'm gonna have to look those up yeah, there's two more Death Notes. There's another Death Note right here. A couple of Clinton auto repair manuals. Brand new photo album sealed. Frame picture of a cow. Okay, this is kind of neat right here. Tinker toy. Tinker toy. This looks older. I don't see a date on that, but I think that's a little bit older right here. These older Tinker toys. What is this? It's a book. What, what books in here? It's a railroad train book. What the heck? It's huge. Hmm. Alright. Interesting. Man, it reeks of cigarettes though. That's too bad. Okay. Here's like the first one that I came across. The one that spilled all over the ground. First box. Alright, we got a coffee mill. That's what it is. Wow, it looks actually brand new. Donate. Now uh, there's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. One card. Tiki Curse. It's all bent up. That's unfortunate. Oh, tattoos. <laughs> Dollar each. Tattoos. Temporary tattoos. Okay, we got a couple of packs of cards. These ones are different than anything I've ever seen. Look at these. They are actually plastic and they are transparent. Parts of them are. And on the back side, look at that. That is actually really interesting. I've never seen that before. What is this? Do you guys know what this is? This looks like something very, very special. Oh, there is a number on here. Okay. I don't know what that is. I'm going to put that aside. That is definitely something very specialized. All right here we got a bunch of little, I don't know if they're handkerchiefs or napkins. All this kind of stuff. Embroidered. There's a glass paperweight. That's a nice piece. I'm going to put that aside. Probably auction these off when we have, you know, a few of them. But I do find them from time to time. So, hold on to that piece. That's a nice ashtray right here because it's a big one. This is an ele elephant wicker basket. <laughs> Bob Seeger and the silver bullet band. And then here we have a some kind of a bumper sticker or something. Laminating adhesive. 
All right. Brand new cards. There's quite a few packs of cards in here actually, but I'm only gonna put aside the sealed ones unless it's something special like those plastic ones. A little cheap harmonica. Oh, geez, look at this. This guy must have fallen on the ground. I didn't even notice it. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. We found this guy before, I think. Huh. Boom. He comes with a little soccer ball, I think. How funny. That's a good find. This thing right here is almost cool. It's resin. That's neat. Somebody did this themselves, engraved or burned in. Tried to put a Harley Davidson logo on there. It's cool. Alright guys, so there's there's more stuff in here. There's just nothing like very interesting in here besides what I pulled out. So I'll grab the next box. Alright. I know I said I grab the next box, but duffel bag's gonna have to do. Cause that's what I got. Alright, what do we have here? An outlaw in his beer. I don't know. This is an old jacket. Labels all faded off. Oof, stinks like cigarettes though. That's unfortunate. But that is uh, denim with like this uh, southwestern print on it. And I have to say, this is actually kind of cool. The thing sucks is it really does stink like cigarettes. But it's not a bad jacket. That's a neat, neat looking jacket. This might be a few bucks. I wish I could tell the brand. Too stinky. But this, I think, would sell at the vintage market. This is a jacket, like a windbreaker. Rail City Casino Platinum. I wonder if this guy worked for a casino. Uh, costume. Yeah, I really like this Halloween stuff. What is this? Zozo suit. A oh, personal measurement system. That, what? These are all little sensors right here. So you put that on and scan yourself with the phone, it's going to tell you your measurements. Is that right? I've never seen that before. Dang it, another Yu Gi Oh thing. Empty. Oh, what's this? What is this? Nemesis, it says. Oh man, it's empty. This is probably for a watch. It's probably a watch box. Nemesis watch, is that a thing? Look at this, you guys. In that bag, a few more Yu-Gi-Oh cards. These ones aren't all messed up. Here's the top to that outfit here, so you can figure out what your size is. If I put this on, the dots would be really far apart. <laughs> a little leather purse here. <laughs> it is a Michael Kors, and we do love Michael Kors, but this one, mm -mm. inside's all stained up. That's too bad. Not exactly sure what this thing is right here. Maybe it's a uh, like a pot to put plants in, cause it's slotted down there. Or maybe it's I really don't know. I don't really know. It says five bucks on it. This appears to be a coach bag. Coach bag again. Super nasty on the inside. Sorry guys, we're not gonna be auctioning these off. These are just not great. I like to auction off nice stuff. It's good brands, just not good condition. Another coach, another nasty inside. Nasty, nasty, funk, funk. There's the Yu Gi Oh! Haunted Mine wrapper. Oh, here's a whole bunch more cards. That's good, isn't it? I mean, I don't know. In fact, that finding cards is good. I don't know if those are good cards. Okay, next box, guys. We're gonna, uh, whoops, we're gonna get down to this pretty quick here because there's only two boxes left. I'm not sure, but this is a 1969 Fisher Price, and I think this is a Tudor, Tudor house. Okay, let's open. It's got some parts in it. I'll have to make sure they all get back inside. This, I'll have to look up. I think this might have a little bit of value. All right, this might have a little bit of value. It looks like it's in decent shape. It's a little dirty. Here's, a, here's one piece that fell out. It's a little dog. I'll try to keep all those pieces together. What is this, guys? It's like a, it's a handkerchief. It's been cut and looks like it's hand sewn. It's got this to hang on. It's got some fancy stuff on here. Lots of beads and stuff. What's this for though? Where would you put this? Do you guys know? Have you seen these before? I have not. Metal basket. A little candle holder for the wall. Yeah, look at this guy. Mm, cookie jar. That might have a little value too. A little pig cookie jar. I don't see any kind of a maker mark on it though. It does appear to be old. It does. If you can see, it's got some crazing going on there. Could be a sign of the age. I do wish it had a maker on it though. Nice little teapot here. There's a little clock. There's nothing else great in here though. Unless you consider this great. <laughs> I don't. So I'll be donating it. 
Let's go pull the next box and hope it's better than that one. That one's kind of heavy. Start with, we got Sky Roll luggage. Okay, another part to the Guitar Hero set, the Rock Band set. Harmonics, it says, harmonics. Okay, a little hot air balloon here. All right, you hang it. What do we got here? This looks like sewing stuff. Yep, 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 that's what it be. A whole bunch of sewing stuff. Mending fabrics. Look at this, got a whole bag of it. All different types of stuff. There's some ribbons, I see ribbons, needles. I don't know, all kinds of stuff. Oh, mm. <laughs> last time we found some really nice jewelry, we found it inside one of these. A little pill bottle. Got a bunch of thread in here. Yeah, some more needles and stuff. All right, so what I'll probably do is I will probably take all of these things, put them in a flat rate box, and we'll sell it as a lot in our live auctions. Not the basket so much, because the basket's not really that special. But all the stuff inside, we'll sell as one lot. We don't get big money for that stuff, but I know people can use it, so give a good deal. Little photo albums, they're empty. Not the little, what? Kind of feel like the guy went through this before. He left the junk. Seems to be the way it's been going lately. A lot of lockers are like that lately. Okay, nice creativity kit. Right here with pens and such. Hey, check it out. This is locker nuts, guys. We found a little locker. It's empty. Oh, so that's kind of a nice little vase right there. And a little bottle blue. There's some more glassware in here. Okay, this kind of stuff. That is a little bong, I think, but it is broken right here. A piece of glass broke off of it. That's too bad. Okay, nice vase. 2008 Heritage Mint Limited. That's interesting. It's a vase, I think. It's got some little nicks on it though, unfortunately. That's a big, 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 big bong. <laughs> this is broken right here. I think that piece pulls out and you can put a replacement in there, but that is a big bong. Big bong. <laughs> These are some money. This is probably, I'd say, if you have to get 10 bucks at the flea market, easy, but I think you could probably get 20 bucks. This is not a bad piece right here, value-wise, you know, money. It's a little party light thing, so probably for candles right there, maybe. Or maybe you put the candle inside right here, and it lights up the whole house. But you know what, I'm going to look that up, actually. Okay, so the party light stuff could have a little bit of value. Could. Yep, I think that might go to the party light piece right there. Okay, we got a bag of something here. Actually, I think I know what that is. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> okay. Got another bong right here. All right. And we got a basket of goodies here. Let me get this uh, bin out the way and we'll look through the rest of it. All right, guys, here's what we got here. We've got a bag of glass pipes. And these actually, I mean, they're heavily used. For sure they are, but they're actually, they're pretty nice little pipes. There's another one. I don't know what this is about. It's got a little piece of paper tucked into that. That's another nice one. Oh my goodness, here's another one. This looks like a little hookah. Cheap one. More parts to the hookah right here. Uh, there's another one, another pipe, another glass pipe. Okay, there's a vegetable peeler. Could have peeled my finger off if I wasn't paying attention. There's another little pipe, and this time it's like carved out of stone. Another little pipe, this time metal. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, and the bag says, do you hookah? What am I going to do with all these pipes? I guess I'll have to bring them to the flea market. I could just donate them, but I don't know if they sell this kind of stuff at the thrift store. Right, we'll figure that out in a second. First, let's go to this. There's a Hershey's tin. I think it's meant to look old, but it's not old. Empty. Dotties, 2015. A ornament. Sony Walkman. CD player. We'll add that to the electronics lot. And some scissors. Whoa, got the for scrapbooking or something. Huh, they seem fancy. There's a name on there. I'll add that to the craft lot. Clothespins. Glitter. Five second button attacher. What? Really? Huh. And a longer burger basket. Get out! Look at that. Longer burger. How funny. 1995. 
That's hilarious. We just found all those longer burgers just in the last couple lockers. Had so many. Oh, this one's got like a longer burger porcelain piece here, ceramic piece. Well, that's how we wrap it up with this longer burger. Funny, 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 funny. All right, guys, we are basically down to it. I mean, I got a few things here and there. These are going to just go straight to the thrift store. Sorry, Kevin Costner. You're going to the thrift store. Um, but this thing right here, actually, I'm going to have to look this up. This is the last thing that we have. It's a game chair. It's a gaming chair. So, Oh, there we go. Wireless boom chair. Huh. Wi-Fi, right? Y-F-X? No, Y-F-H? Wireless boom chair. So, you see it's got speakers in it. It's kind of cool. I mean, you sit in it, you rock, lean back, whatever, and this plugs into something. It actually does look pretty fancy. It's got separate attachments for the bass and volume. Whoa, it's got power. What the heck? So this is where you would plug into your headphones, I think. It's gonna plug into this instead. The boom chair. Maybe uh, MJ's Boom Boom would like this boom chair for his boom room. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? All right, one way or another, it's got to go. Everything's got to go. Uh, and lately, because I haven't gone to flea markets, it's really backed us up a bit. My lockers are starting to get very full, so that's why you see me donating a lot more stuff, because I don't want to stop buying. Uh, that's the fun part. Plus, I want to keep filming and everything. But as far as sales go, I've been trying to sell locally. People are not really buying very much locally. Not here. Not right now. I've had a very hard time moving things locally, unless I'm giving them away for free. And even then, sometimes it doesn't move very quick, believe it or not. Um... But uh, that refrigerator, for example, I just listed that it works perfect. The inside's clean. 40 bucks on it. Got zero, zero interest so far. Just takes one person, but still, I'm surprised that didn't get snatched up. I'll mark it the 20, and then I'll mark it the 10, then I'll mark it free. I just need it to go. But right now, um, yeah, we have a lot of stuff. We have a lot of stuff in this stuff. Wasn't that good, right? We had some decent stuff. I do have some stuff for our auctions. I like finding lots of things. Like we found lots of knives. We found lots of video games. Those will go into the... <laughs> What's so funny? You want to come over? Yeah. Really? You think it's funny you're wearing my shoes? Can <laughs> I use that? Yes, okay, that's thanks. what it's for. What's so funny? Camille's wearing my shoes. She thinks it's hilarious. Okay. All right. We're going to wrap. I'm wrapping up this video, Camille. You want to be... Uh, where are you going? Okay. We're actually standing inside the Mercedes van right now. I don't know why she's laughing so much. That's what 11-year-olds do. No. <laughs> what? How old are you? Thirteen. <laughs> She's thirteen. I just like saying that. I like I like riling her up. She gets so angry. See how angry she is right now? She's infuriated. <laughs> All right, we're gonna wrap this up. So we didn't find like great stuff in this locker. We found some okay stuff. We did find gold. Found one piece of gold, and we found some stuff that we could sell in the auctions, like the video games and the knives. But hmm. This one, you know what, it kind of pretty much was what I thought it was going to be, but it was fun. Did find some Halloween costumes. I showed Camille, she liked that mask, but uh, not great, great stuff, but it's okay. We didn't spend too much money on it, less than 200 bucks in. I'll get the money out, we'll donate for a good cause, and we'll have some fun in the auctions. So, um, anyways, we're going to be buying a lot this week, guys. There's some really, really good auctions this week. So the next video will be out very, very soon. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time here on Lockin' Nuts. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>